but it's the best feeling when you're done with it early and you get to travel, do what you want. Sorry, I had to take a break because I killed the biggest freaking butt. So today we're talking about how I passed my boards a week after graduation. It's something that I really recommend for a lot of PA students to do. I feel like the longer you wait, the more anxious you get. And one of my professors told me, you know the most the day of graduation? And I 100% agree with that statement because I think you are the most knowledgeable and you are the most equipped to take your boards right around graduation. And I'll tell you why and uh, my study tactics and what I use. I also am collaborating with UWorld. They are offering a free trial for 30 days for any PA students who wants to try their UWorld test bank. I didn't have UWorld offered to me when I was a PA student. It wasn't around. I know UWorld is really popular with medical students and nursing students. So it's so exciting to hear that they finally have a test bank for PA students. My fiance is now a resident and when he was studying for a step one and step two and step three, he used UWorld and it's a great source. And I wish I had it when I was a PA student and they are happy to give you guys a 30 day free trial to see if you guys like the source and I'd highly recommend it. So how I study for the pants. So I use a lot of my notes and didactic gear to be a groundwork for me throughout my clinical year and it really wasn't until my last few rotations and thankfully my last rotation was internal medicine. I had the idea that I want to take my pants as early as I could. So I registered for it a week after graduation. I also wanted to make sure you guys know that if you are in PA school and you're registering for your pants to register ahead of time, earlier the better, because a lot of those dates get filled up really quickly. I would recommend is just looking at those dates. And if you want to do it earlier, make sure you secure a good date because I had some classmates who had to travel a little farther to take their pants at a certain date that they wanted. With your end of rotation exams, you are probably given a blue print of topics that you have to cover and you'll see throughout your rotation exams and the blueprints a lot of those topics really overlap and so it's nice to you know have a place where you keep all your notes so you can look back at those notes and that's what I realized like I got a big notebook and I just wrote in the notebook notes from each topic and I systematically try to organize it by like rotation so like one notebook was for OBGYN one notebook was for pediatric tricks and that was really helpful because it was my handwritten notes everyone studies differently but I really just realized that I learned better with repetition and so I was the student that had to read a topic write some notes about it maybe watch some videos about it and that really just helped me just really understand the material better some online sources I used was online med ed Dr. Najib I think that was his name he's brilliant and he was a source that my fiance who was a med student at that time told me to use now there's like sketchy path sketchy farm those are great for like pharmacology which i highly recommend really just use my didactic notes to help me supplement my clinical year notes and what i use as essentially like a simple outline was this which the bible for pa students um my thing with this book is that I don't think it's really good to only use for your study source in didactic year. I would supplement this with your lecture notes. I think it's so great throughout your clinical rotation year. I would have my blueprint out for my EORs and the rotation exams and I would write down the topic like this is acute otitis media write it in my notebook and I would essentially just kind of review this, copy this down and then add to that page supplemental notes that I got from my textbooks, from videos, things that would help me remember certain treatments, common organisms and I feel like this was a great outline but you definitely want to supplement a little bit more to this because it's kind of just straightforward but it's great as an outline and I think each rotation having a notebook full of topics, especially when I was near the end of my internal medicine rotation I was then comparing the pants blueprint of what's covered on the pants with my internal medicine blueprint um, list and they were pretty similar a lot of things overlap and so 
by the time I was studying for my pants hardcore, I already reviewed a lot of those topics because my last rotation was internal medicine, which worked out really well for me. I feel like just having my notebook full of just notes of all the topics and specialties kind of helped me organize uh, my studying. I was doing questions since I started studying for my end of rotation exam. My question banks for my EORs were mainly like Smarty Pants, Roche Review. Um, I didn't use a lot of Exam Master because Exam Master questions are really hard, but that was what I really focused on for my pants. And I think one of my professors told me that um, if you were scoring an exam master with like a 70, 75, like that was pretty good. The two weeks before I took my pants, so me and my two close friends, we decided to be really disciplined. And even though we're so excited to graduate, we um, spent a lot of times reviewing topics and just doing questions on our own and coming together like at night to talk about certain topics that were more difficult that we were reviewing. And so I would recommend, especially your last two, three weeks, just start practicing doing questions. The two weeks before my pants, I was waking up early, I was going to the library at like six, seven in the morning, just sitting at the computer lab, just trying to simulate like a testing environment because I have a lot of test anxiety. So I would like go into a computer lab, hopefully like there was nobody there, or one or two people there, and I would just pretend that I was taking a test, time myself, do a block of like 50 questions. I think it's like 50 or 40 each block and just time myself, give myself breaks. And then I would see how I do. And then the hardest part was after all those questions, I would have to sit there and go through each question and see what the answers were, if I got them right or wrong, and I would take notes. That was really helpful. If you were all dissimilar to how the med student question banks are, I think it's challenging. And I'm sure they're doing a really good job with the questions, giving you thorough answer. And so I heard that it's very popular right now with PA students. And so I would highly recommend New World use that source if you are a PA student. Another hard thing was the week of graduation. Everybody wants to celebrate. You know, you have your dinners, you have um, all these events you uh, want to hang out with your classmates because you guys are all finally together and i did partake in a lot of those events but it was hard because the day after graduation me and my two close friends who really kept each other accountable we like woke up early and we went to the library to study and to do questions because we knew our pants was the week after and i cannot tell you guys what a relief it was to take it right away be done with it and i packed my bags and i went to korea for two three weeks and i went to go see my mom it was the best trip it was a really great sigh of relief everyone's results came out like a week or two after i don't remember exactly but it was nerve-wracking because i was in korea and i was like oh my gosh like did i pass did i not pass like i mentioned in my other videos i didn't have a job lined up so my biggest priority was just passing the pants and i did my entire class my whole cohort passed with 100 percent pass rate the first time which is so important and so great and so i was really proud about that i think the majority of my class in particular took it right after graduation so a week after um, we didn't delay it. I think we had one or two classmates who waited a little longer, but overall, I think you should take it as soon as you can. And the only way you're able to do that is really having a game plan. And, you know, two, three months before your graduation, like start coming up with a plan of how you're going to tackle your pants. And ideally, if you want to take it earlier, how you're going to do that. And I just came up with a set plan of taking it a week after graduation using my pants prep pearls at that point you have your own notes and you can go and read your own handwritten notes for each topic the harder topics you might have to review like copd or hepatitis watch a few videos get a refresher so another tip is look at what breaks up the pants you know most of it's going to be cardio most of it's going to be pulmonary so focus on those because that's where you're gonna want to know the material really well of course you know review some derm review some ent but overall you just want to really make sure you have a strong foundation on cardio palm gi i don't know if it's changed make sure you're confident in those topics and if you struggle in those focus on those earlier and do a lot of questions from those topics sorry i had to take a break because i killed the biggest freaking bug this is why i hate living by myself because i have to kill these bugs on my own i think i covered all the things that i did to help me prepare for my boards a week after graduation my honest opinion um i'm almost three years out of pe school 
But if you wanna hear about how I got my first job as a knee grad and how I got into the field of derm, check out my other videos. Focus really hard near the end of your uh, clinical year. And if you do wanna take your boards right away, do it. I know it's hard. I was literally in the library the day after graduation and I was miserable and so depressed because I didn't have to be there. But it's the best feeling when you're done with it early and you get to travel, do what you want, knowing that you been preparing for that day for longer than just a week after graduation it's more of like a two month three month like timeline of you just focusing and having a game plan get pants pearls this is the older edition i have like ptsd looking at my notes oh my gosh make this be a good outline do a lot of questions I'm trying to do at least like you know have a set number of 30 a day before your pants i'm trying to time yourself wake up early simulate like that same time you're going to take your pants like new world is offering 30 days of a free access to you guys i'll link it down below and hopefully you guys use it and let me know if you have any questions down below thanks for watching bye